how to make a flying sky base and like a Fortnite. Full tutorial shown in a moment. You can turn it, you can build chests on it, store stuff, and even build crafting stations if you want to. Starting off, we did an anchor. In this case, stairs. Go ahead and place that down, then add two thin floors for something fancy later on. Basically, just more anchorage. So two of these, and then add a, I guess, longer uh, rustic floor, or any floor like this. And that'll be the starting point for our big foundation. The biggest one you can get. I wouldn't use concrete. I'm pretty sure it weighs more. Now, the fancy part here is go towards red and then back up four pieces. That's the exact middle because it's eight. It's an eight block thing. Then go ahead and add the other three pieces to make a giant square. And now, we're going to add some rustic thin floors to the sides. You can use the same color. I just use different ones to make it easier to tell where the actual half, I guess, waypoint is for building later on. So I'm alternating to know exactly where that point is. And for the, I guess, back of it, I leave space in the middle because it doesn't matter that much. And I am flying because <laughs> this is, uh, I went for a nice scenery place. Anyway, go ahead and use the wood foundations and put them two blocks to the right and left of the main starting block thingy. And that's the exact middle. Then add whatever major thin floor you can that connects to the two side foundations, like the two long ones we just placed. And go two blocks to the left, that's the exact middle again, and boom. Now middle matters because you want to have weight be evenly distributed. Then swap to middle, like any kind of railing you, you use does not matter that much. Just make sure you can actually block in the thing and place the railing on the very outer edge. This is very important because if you don't, chances are you'll be wasting your thrusters, activation switches, and all other stuff when you do the uh, next-ish step. So I'm placing them all like this. You can break them if you mess up. Like these are all these are all refundable parts so far. And these are our guide railings for the side thrusters. Because the way it works is your side thrusters cannot be connected to your main platform. Otherwise, they won't be side thrusters. They'll just be like connected to the whole main power switch or power line. Now take a railing or a pillar, anything you want to, and add it to the side. In this case, this method's pretty clean, I think. And then we go ahead and take the big, long wood foundation and place it all the way to the right towards red and then all the way towards me towards red and then back up towards green. And that's the perfect alignment. And you place it on both sides and then you connect them to the long ways and boom. That's the hardest part done. And I'm flying again because I chose the scenery place, man. I'm trying to go for the immersion. Place two small thrusters. You could use three on this side probably and maybe even big thrusters. I just didn't think about it. But two's fine. Like, two will turn you just fine. So, thrusters are down. Now add activation switches to both of these big, long uh, foundations. And that's basically how you turn left and right. So, you could go ahead and slam them down if you want to right now. Break the, the I guess, railing that's connected to them. But in my case, I'm going to add my chests. Because what I'm going to do on my main server, because this is sandbox if you guys don't know. I'm flying and doing, like, godmo stuff. But on my main server, where I'm actually playing with all settings turned on. I'm going to be doing this to transport bases and build different areas so I can go ahead and level up my biomes or my villages and unlock all the building items. So holy smokes, I'm taking a year today, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. Once you're done placing whatever you want to place, in my case the chest, go ahead and add your main activation switch for the forward thrusters. We haven't placed quite yet. And I'm a bit indecisive, but I went ahead and decided to break the railing holding up the side thrusters. Boom. Bada. Bing. And in this method, the way I'm doing it currently, it works every single time so far. And now we're adding the large thrusters to the back. Placement does matter for these, I believe, otherwise it'd be all wonky. So symmetry is important. And now we're adding the final touches. The balloons to the very outskirts on each of the four corners. You can add more balloons if you want to, but four is already expensive, and it's going to cost me an arm and a leg on the actual main server I play on. And now we can break the supporting beam. This is why we built that beam or the uh, floor like we did. We can just take off. The building was so simple. And the side thrusters work. The only downside is the sound, okay? The sound here is it gets annoying, but it does taper off as you level out a little bit. But you have a flying sky base. If you're still watching, here are some things I wouldn't do. I wouldn't try and weigh down this giant floating base because it'll mess up these side thrusters that aren't attached. That's the biggest downside. You also can't really land it with thrusters. I mean, you could place them on it and try and land that way, 
it'd just be unideal. And once you get close to the ground, let go of the actual exhaust or the power, it'd float back up. I also wouldn't really build super close to the edge. Just build on the actual platform itself, like the highest one, and not the sides, because doing so will actually possibly break the side the, the side thrusters and or switch consistently. I may have solved the biggest issue with sky bases, the freaking sound. Ignore the god mode real quick, but this switch is in Narnia, or it's next to my ship, but not where it should be. I hit that, fly back to the, the ship, land, and you hear like a crazy sound. That. Everything's back where it should be, and the sound is gone. And aside from that, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Hope I helped you. Peace.